in this video we are going to solve some examples of successive differentiation in my earlier video i have solved some easy examples of finding higher order derivatives here we are going to solve these two problems that is first one is if x square plus y square equal to 4 then we have to find out d square y by dx square that is second derivative and second problem is if y equal to a cos 5x plus b sin 5x then we have to prove that d square y by dx square plus 25y equal to 0 let's get started first example is if x square plus y square equal to 4 we have to find out the second derivative that is d square y by dx square so first consider the equation that is given x square plus y square equal to 4 so we have to differentiate this equation with respect to x so first term we have x square x square differentiation is 2x plus here we have y square y square differentiation is 2y into y differentiation is dy by dx because we are differentiating with respect to x so we have to write it as dy by dx equal to here we have 4 4 is a constant value if you differentiate you will get 0 now we have to find out first derivative that is dy by dx so i am keeping this 2y into dy by dx to the left hand side and i am taking this 2x to the right hand side so this will become 2y dy by dx equal to if you take it to the other side it will become minus 2x so here 2 and 2 will get cancel so the value of dy by dx equal to minus x divided by y so i am taking this y to the other side so it will become Minus x divided by y. So this is the value of first derivative. Now we have to find out second derivative. So second derivative that is d square y by dx square. So d square y divided by dx square that is equal to. So we have to differentiate this minus x divided by y. So this is of the form u divided by v. That is quotient rule. So the formula for quotient rule is v into u dash minus u into v dash divided by v square. So first denominator is v square. So here v is y. So y square, and in the numerator we have v into u dash. V is y, y into u dash. U dash is minus x. So minus x differentiation is one. Already we have minus. Next is u. U is minus x into v dash. v dash differentiation is dy by dx because y differentiation is dy by dx so that is equal to minus y and here we have minus so it will become plus x into dy by dx what is dy by dx value that is nothing but minus x by y so just substitute it minus, minus x divided, divided by, by y divided by y square so d square y divided by dx square equal to here we have minus y and if you multiply plus into minus it will become minus x square divided by y whole divided by y square so this is equal to in the numerator we have minus so i am taking commonly out so minus and we have second term x square divided by y so just cross multiply it so i'll get y into y y square plus because i am taking already minus outside so it will become plus x square divided by y so if you take it to the denominator it will become y cube because already we have y square so if you multiply with y it will become y cube so the value of d square y by dx square equal to minus in the numerator we have y square plus x square so we have to write it as x square plus y square divided by y cube so that is equal to minus because here the value is given x square plus y square equal to 4 so i just substitute it in the place of x square plus y square Just write it four. So this is four divided by y cube. So this is d square y by d x square equal to minus four by y cube. Or this can be written as d square y by d x square. Just take this term to the other side. It will become plus four by y cube equal to zero. Next second example. If y equal to a into cos 5x plus b into sin 5x, and we have to prove that d square y by dx square plus 25y equal to zero. So first we have to consider y, that is a into cos 5x plus b into sin 5x. So now we have to differentiate this equation with respect to 
x so left hand side we have y if you differentiate you will get dy by dx that is first derivative equal to here we have a into cos 5x a is constant cos 5x differentiation is minus sin 5x into we have 5x here so into 5 plus second term is b into sin 5x b is constant sin 5x differentiation is cos 5x into 5 because we have 5x here so 5x differentiation is 5 so this can be written as we have minus and we have constant value 5 and a so 5a sin 5x plus 5b cos 5x so this is the value of first derivative now we have to find out second derivative because we have to prove here d square y by dx square plus 25y0 so this is the second derivative value so for this we have to find out second derivative that is d square y by dx square equal to so we have to differentiate this minus 5a into sin 5x that is the first term so here minus 5a is constant sin 5x differentiation is cos 5x into 5 plus and here we have 5b is constant and we have cos 5x cos 5x differentiation is minus sin 5x into 5 so this is nothing but d square y by dx square equal to so here we have minus 5a and here we have 5 so if you multiply you will get minus 25a cos 5x and here we have minus 5b into 5 so that is 25b sin 5x so d square y by dx square equal to and i am taking minus 25 commonly out so we have a into cos 5x plus b into sin 5x so this is nothing but a into cos 5x plus b into sin 5x is y because that is given in the problem so here y equal to a into cos 5x plus b into sin 5x so in the place of that we are substituting it as y so d square y by dx square equal to minus 25 into y so this can be written as d square y by dx square I am taking this minus 25 y to the other side it will become plus 25 y equal to 0 so this is what we have to prove so hence proved thanks for watching this video if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and click on like button and for further notification please hit the bell icon thank you